First Hitting Time Model, Wikipedia Audio Events are often triggered when a stochastic or random process first encounters a threshold. The threshold can be a barrier, boundary, or specified state of a system. The amount of time required for a stochastic process, starting from some initial state, to encounter a threshold for the first time is referred to variously as a first hitting time. In statistics, first hitting time models are a subclass of survival models. The first hitting time, also called first passage time, of the barrier set, B, with respect to an instance of a stochastic process is the time until the stochastic process first enters, B. More colloquially, a first passage time in a stochastic system, is the time taken for a state variable to reach a certain value. Understanding this metric allows one to further understand the physical system under observation, and as such has been the topic of research in very diverse fields, from economics to ecology. The idea that a first hitting time of a stochastic process might describe the time to occurrence of an event has a long history, starting with an interest in the first passage time of Wiener diffusion processes in economics and then in physics in the early 1900s. Modeling the probability of financial ruin as a first passage time was an early application in the field of insurance. An interest in the mathematical properties of first hitting times and statistical models and methods for analysis of survival data appeared steadily between the middle and end of the 20th century. Examples A common example of a first hitting time model is a ruin problem, such as gambler's ruin. In this example, an entity has an amount of money which varies randomly with time possibly with some drift. The model considers the event that the amount of money reaches zero, representing bankruptcy. The model can answer questions such as the probability that this occurs within finite time, or the mean time until which it occurs. First hitting time models can be applied to expected lifetimes of patients or mechanical devices. When the process reaches an adverse threshold state for the first time, the patient dies, or the device breaks down. One of the simplest and omnipresent stochastic systems is that of the Brownian particle in one dimension. This system describes the motion of a particle which moves stochastically in one-dimensional space, with equal probability of moving to the left or to the right. Given that Brownian motion is used often as a tool to understand more complex phenomena, it is important to understand the probability of a first passage time of the Brownian particle of reaching some position distant from its start location. This is done through the following means. The probability density function for a particle in one dimension is found by solving the one-dimensional diffusion equation. namely. Given the initial condition, p, x, t, equals, 0, x, 0, equals, delta, x, x, 0, where, x, t, is the position of the particle at some given time, x, 0, is the tagged particle's initial position, and d, is the diffusion constant with the SI units, M, 2, S, 1, S. The bar in the argument of the instantaneous probability refers to the conditional probability. The diffusion equation states that the speed at which the probability for finding the particle at, X, T, is position dependent. It can be shown that the one dimensional PDF is this states that the probability of finding the particle at x t is Gaussian, and the width of the Gaussian is time dependent. More specifically, the full width at half maximum technically, 
this is actually the full duration at half maximum as the independent variable is time scales like. Using the PDF one is able to derive the average of a given function, L, at time, T. Where the average is taken over all space. First passage time of a 1D Brownian particle. The first passage time density is the probability that a particle has first reached a point, x, c, at time, t. This probability density is calculable from the survival probability. Consider the absorbing boundary condition, p, x, c, t, equals, zero. The PDF satisfying this boundary condition is given by 4 x 0 0 backslash comma. The time scale of the stochastic process may be calendar or clock time or some more operational measure of time progression, such as mileage of a car, accumulated wear and tear on a machine component or accumulated exposure to toxic fumes. In many applications, the stochastic process describing the system state is latent or unobservable and its properties must be inferred indirectly from censored time to event data and slash or readings taken over time on correlated processes, such as marker processes. The word regression in threshold regression refers to first hitting time models in which one or more regression structures are inserted into the model in order to connect model parameters to explanatory variables or covariates. The parameters given regression structures may be parameters of the stochastic process, the threshold state and slash or the time scale itself.